we're here to talk about uh, BlizzCon recaps. So we got a, we got a few My favorite few things to talk about here. Uh, Diablo Immortal being announced yep. for smartphones. Uh, yeah. Warcraft Three Reforged um, announced for the PC. Yeah, that's pretty and good. Mac. Uh, Overwatch New Hero. Yep, Leon. Um, Leon. Yeah. And uh, we got World of Warcraft Classic. So uh, <laughs> let's kind of talk into it. So Diablo Immortal. Diablo um, Immortal. Yeah. So we got a, a Chinese developer taking over. For Blizzard's Di- <laughs> not even working on it. For Diablo. Thank we got, you. We got Nettie's. So much. <laughs> Nettie's uh, previously, you know, known Ex- for Fortcraft. Excellent crap. Fortcraft does not look like Fortnite at all. I can assure. Um, don't look it up don't look it up what else we got crusaders of light which is which is, which is which actually is where the stubs from yeah <laughs> so so net ease is known as like kind of a, a very like don't care like the, you know stereotypical chinese stealing asset bullshit yeah. developers and blizzard has kind of given them the reins for diablo for diablo immortal um you know blizzard kind of there for quality control and yeah, that's that, that's that is it you got a smartphone game that is mm-hmm. you know published by this developer it's and it's likely going to be monetized too it's already a reskin it's already a reskin of what it's they've a already of what they yeah what they've created so they have crusaders of light which you can download right on your phone and if you look at diablo immortal i shit you not verbatim screenshot by screenshot mm-hmm. it is a, a screen uh, it is a reskin yeah of this game so uh you got the diablo fan base pretty pissed off you know including well, including yourself <laughs> yeah no i mean i think it's include i mean really anyone like all of us who you know enjoyed playing you know any any form of diablo it was like you know the original diablo 2 especially in diablo 3 which took a while to get going but diablo 3 was is great and they have given it like no appreciation at all um and like we thought everyone thought it'd be like another expansion no, they... Or some type like a major patch, something that was in development that was coming for Diablo because people have I don't know people have the right to complain about this because it's been so long. It's not like oh we just had an update. There's it's been. I mean I just you know just just go and find the fan reactions. People they betrayed talk, they it, betrayed it, their fans. It, they 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 handled it so you know poorly and 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 especially since they had said that it was Diablo. What was it? it was going to be like oh no it's okay this mobile game is actually going to be like set between like diablo 2 and 3 so there's like going to be a story to it you know it's, it's like no, no 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 if you cared about it it at least would have been on pc it would have it, uh, you know something not not on, not on mobile they, but... be- they betrayed their fans they got they got fans coming up to them like is this an off-season april fool's joke yeah, right they, yeah, yeah they have the previous diablo 2 producer on twitter kind of you know throwing a tirade like Blizzard has lost perspective on what it is to, you know, they mm-hmm. they don't know who their fans are anymore. They don't know what their core fan base is. Yep. They they kind of lost their sense and yeah, and they and they they they've dragged the Diablo fan base like through the mud like for Oh a yeah. Cuz they there's been, horrible stuff. If you think about it, there's like not really they have the se- the Diablo 3 season still. They they you know, they right. they always do that. And that's but, going that's continuing on Nintendo Switch, which is yeah. which is fine. I well, mean, which is find like, a new fan base there. It's layer, nice but... there there's limitless uh like, you know, replay value uh if you enjoy dungeon crawlers, but they Blizzard has that, you know, that feel where it's like you want they they're going to keep on updating the game. They're not going to hurt but like Diablo for some reason. They just they they really like the fan base. They've just like just pissed all over. Right. They like they really they really have. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's really upsetting. Uh, Warcraft three mm. reforged. Warcraft three reforged. What do you My think? God. So yeah, it okay. So kind of like the the exact opposite where Blizzard. <laughs> yeah. Right kind of took their diablo fans and said hey go fuck you 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 yeah. guys all have phones right like yeah right yeah. literally like on stage you all have smartphones right mm-hmm. warcraft 3 is coming out and reforged remastered uh yes. it is a 4k remat hd remaster it is a complete remaster not not just kind of you know brightened up right <laughs> <laughs> yeah kind of like when you see on the consoles you see remasters and oh, remakes Kingdom Hearts and, remastered oh yeah. it's just uh... just you still got ps2 assets like kind of <laughs> crawling through yeah um with this like the models is, are new yeah it's gorgeous looking i, I love the character models it, you know it looks great right so i will be definitely playing that yeah um hopefully they can do the same with frozen throne we got we can 
give some light back into Arthas. Yeah, no, that that's. I mean, that, that's hopefully fun. more World of Warcraft players can actually see that story. Mm-hmm. And, um, now you know because it's it was so previously dated, like the first iteration of mm. Warcraft Three. Now you know people can kind of get into it and see uh what 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 they've been missing um and then also battle net support for custom maps and all that stuff so just bringing yeah, no, breathing life around. yeah breathing life into that yeah it's 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 all around it's really great yep and uh world of warcraft classic um you got classic um i don't know how to i mean i think it's cool that they did it yeah. i was hoping that like it would be its own its own kind of thing I don't yeah. know, like, you know, how to say You still but... got a sub to the original game. That's right. Then... So, yeah. and, uh, I, I'm, I'm glad that, like, they have the option now right. for people who do have, but, like, sometimes, like, for myself, it's kind of like, well. But what's um, to say, like, what's to stop me from going on a private server where you can get a free model? Like, do well, that's, free I mean, there, model, you know? there, there, there are certain ones where there are great, just vanilla servers. Yeah. Okay that we play <laughs> i wish instead of like you know w- w- what world of warcraft's been doing with their free-to-play model is you know instead of like limiting it to people up to level 20 mm-hmm. i wish they had like a certain bank of time where mm-hmm. you can play for 10 hours a week mm-hmm. and just say hey you know this is our free-to-play model so like that would be great that would that'd be give great, us actually. give us 10 hours a week to play and then if you want to play more you just you, you toss us a buck or something like that mm-hmm. you know that and, would be I, yeah, because it's pretty. I know we talk about it all the time, but like it's pretty. Blizzard's model, it's like still pretty archaic. I don't know why. Like, and it's the same with a lot of MMOs. Mm-hmm. They still like have the that. F- they still have that fifteen dollars a month thing, and they... there's no need for it. And especially in an age where we have like stuff like PlayStation Plus, and like even for consoles, MMOs are kind of going on consoles now. Yeah, you know, you have Xbox Live, PlayStation Plus. Like, there's really, I, I, I just fail to see the model for it, and. I, I, there's no real like it, it, the fact that you're paying for a license to like keep playing this game is mm-hmm. just I, it doesn't make sense and i feel like they can make they, they still have microtransaction stores and they still have things yeah like right that. no exactly they can either like you know they have other m- ways I, I think nowadays to make just money. restructure the model mm-hmm. like make it like a you know make it like a mobile game where it's like well it, okay th- that's controversial but <laughs> make it like a mobile <laughs> game where it's like hey like like I said, ten hours a time a week, and mm-hmm. then if you want to play more, just pay more. And if they did, if they did that with current Warcraft now, mm-hmm. instead of sticking with the vanilla server, like right. you know, because like, because it's free, right? That would be great. I I myself, I probably would be, I probably play that. Not to yeah. mention, you'd have great time. Uh, you have great time management. Yeah, dude, it's like oh, I got ten hours. <laughs> um, you know, you could do this and that. Yeah. And I, that would no. I, they, I, I wish they would add some. That's what I was kind of hoping. And they'd still right? and they'd still make a sale on the game. Like it's not like they're losing sales. They, they have, can... yeah. Especially Warcraft has more than enough. Right, and they're still experiment. they're still making sales on it. So I don't know. But anyway, let's let's move on to our. This is our last topic of Western talk, and you know, I guess you can save the the worst for last. Uh, <laughs> Overwatch has a new has a new hero. Um. Overwatch, you know that that popular hero shooter that a lot of people saying was dying. Um, it, but I guess like the the popularity is still there because you know you still got number one on trending for a lot of these things. The, the, a lot of the videos that they come out with for Overwatch, yes, and the lore and stuff. And like I just okay. I don't get it. But okay, let's yeah. let's go on. So we we have a new hero called yeah. Ash. Uh-huh. Um, Ash is not the... not the Paladin's um, tank, yeah. but Ash is the the Leon clone of Overwatch, where <laughs> yeah. you have a, a, a like the character model, it just and then you have a bodyguard, and yeah, like, it's on. like you have a character that is just so like really like mm-hmm. like Blizzard. I, I don't no, understand. They, yeah, no, they're really they're they're Blizzard's like really getting sloppy with some of their uh, with some of their just. I guess you'd say originality and stuff. For Overwatch in particular, it's like, it's a lot of, you know, it's a lot of copy allegations that Paladins was was accused for, mm-hmm. high res when they were creating Paladins. But the thing is, like, when you see from their perspective, it's like, no, we've had these ideas since Tribes Ascend, and yeah. they kind of just came out at the same time, mm-hmm. and, you know, it was almost like a competitor in the market, but now you have Overwatch kind of, like, too big to be you, well, that's accused they, of the they, shit they can't and, they can't really be accused of it and yeah. stuff and honestly overwatch just has 
as far as for releasing new champions, for them to take so long on them, they're not they're not like worth the. Yeah. Pi- it's kind of like be, it, so many of them end up being so bland, really. But I the mean, memes are it, funny. I oh mean, the, the, <laughs> yeah, the me- no, the memes have, the memes have been uh, they they've been great, but it's true. Like from from Paladins is Leon and was it Ash looks just like Leon in a cowboy outfit, like the weapon. I mean, all of it. It's just mm. they. I mean, I don't know. I, I for me, I've given up with Overwatch. Like I said, I really don't. Their last, what was their, what was their best character? The, the last character that, that they came out with was Anna. Um. Yeah. The the first one. Yeah. The literal the first fucking. Anna hero. was great. Yeah. I mean, the uniqueness to it, right? Mm-hmm. Like a sniper healer. Now you got just fucking copy bullshit. Uh, yeah, <laughs> and it's been this, and, and it's been a trend. It's been a trend with it recently, and I think I think Overwatch just goes. Overwatch now just kind of has its core fan base. Well, and like even then, they're kind of alienating because like you mm. have the Overwatch Cup that like yeah, it's just like it's literally like pros versus casual players, and like that because casual players do not play like Overwatch pros. Overwatch pros play to an entirely different meta than yep. what Overwatch is actually intended for. Mm-hmm. Overwatch pros, you'll see a lot of shit with like, you know, just the same fucking heroes. It's because, the same, yeah. Because that's all like they they've mathematically calculated like this is the best and like with Overwatch casual or with Overwatch like just in general mm-hmm. like that you're not a pro. Yeah. It's like, and it's the same thing. It's the same thing with a lot of games, but like with Overwatch and the divide is so, like, there you know like. <laughs> It just doesn't. It just doesn't make sense, and they're kind of alienating their fans, and you know. Yeah, they're catering it more. They're basically paying more attention to the what the pros do, right? And then instead of like what their, what you know, what their fan base is, and they get thrown to the wind, right? And then, but like, if you're gonna do lore shit, like at least fucking like focus on that. Like, don't make it a fucking seasonal event. (laughs) If they're gonna make lore shit, like they they they've spent so many resource and like it's more resources than what World of Warcraft was even done with these trailers. Oh god, some of their stories, it's like, how have you not made a single player mode? They should. Have you not made like? I I don't understand. Like Overwatch the... should you should have taken everything from Overwatch and did what what, what, what Battleborn had. had right, but I didn't like Battleborn. But that's the setup that Overwatch should have gone because at least they could have told the story if and they ho- wanted and to. And hopefully they can do that in the future. But I just mm-hmm. for now, like the way the model is, is I just don't see it. No, then I see more gonna... stupid arcade bullshit. Like yep, the fact that the arcade modes are like on a rotation, like Destiny. I hated it's that. like. Get it's out. stupid, like, yeah. And like, sure, like you can argue. Well, you have the custom lobby, but it's like, no, it's no like who cares? The who custom, can, lo- yeah. the custom lobby ended up being just. It was like funny, like for the first time, but then yeah. it then it's just that it ends up being really stupid. I don't know, but it, it's just it, whatever. The, this fucking game is just boring. Mm-hmm. And there's no, there's no action to it. No. And meanwhile, you got paladins and high res and fucking like you know, and and they're and please like they've they've got their own fucking problems. Like the last yeah. event for high res, like ho- oh, for man. paladins, holy yeah, shit. yeah, no, it was like was not was not good at all. But oh. but paladins handles ranked and other things much better. Right. The you know the fact that you can play competitive in Overwatch and you could just casually keep switching characters. That still doesn't make. Oh that, yeah, no. That's, that's so jarring to me that there's no draft be, picks. Yeah, like, you should be locked in who you're playing. It's like, oh, but I can't count it. That learn your character, then just make make it work. Try th- try right. different things. Uh, I mean, could could you imagine Heroes of the Storm? Like, yeah, no, fucking switch your character. It's like, <laughs> you know, I don't get it. And they want to make it more professional. It's like just fucking stick to it. Like, mm-hmm. You know, like don't try and be like, oh, well, you know. We don't want to alien our fans, but we already are. So, yep. So whatever. Fuck them. No, fuck them. <laughs> All right, new types. That concludes the first episode of the uh, podcast. Uh, stick around. Um, definitely, we're going to be producing this more in the future. So, uh, whatever platform you're on, um, be sure to follow. 
uh, this podcast. Be sure to stay tuned uh, with notifications or whatever you may see fit. And even if you just want to share it, um, if you just want to share this podcast to anyone that feel like they would enjoy the content or mm. if you are in this, um, you know, I guess industry or um, if you're a fan of any of the things that we discussed today, you know, definitely follow because I will, we'll, we'll be talking about these, these way more in the future as they come up. So mm-hmm. um, thank you so much for your listen. Uh, really appreciate spending time with us today. And uh, I think we got a lot of things off our chest. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I guess we'll use this more of as a therapy device and tr- hopefully try and offer you some value as well. So, right. Um, um, yeah, definitely stay tuned. And, uh, again, thank you so much for, for listening and watching and, uh, we'll be here. So, uh, yeah. See ya. Yeah. See you next time.